just what the doctor ordered. Shall I teach you how to swim? I'm not fully mentally embracing it yet because maybe I want to hold on to my younger days a bit, I don't know. just been living off like two plates, two bowls, two sets of cutlery, two glasses, two mugs and that can wear you down after a while. Isn't that beautiful? I literally forgot that we've got all this. It's been so long that it's been wrapped in paper and packed away in a box forgot all about it. We've still not got electricity yet. So it's not like I can just stick on the ceiling fan and everything's okay. Maybe if I work with this door open. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's better. There is a nice breeze coming through. Yeah, look, you can see how much of a breeze comes through the house. Somewhere in one of these boxes, there's a stag's head. It's not a real stag's head, by the way. It's just a fake one. It's hard to believe, but I jet washed this yesterday morning before I came to the farm. This is what happens this time of year, the road to the farm. It's why you can't have a normal car to get here, it's impossible. It's also stupid to clean your car <laughs> this time of year because within one day, it's back like this. Oh, it's raining again, look, it's raining again. I've got a really fun project I wanna crack on with and I can get it all done within a couple of days um, but the rain's holding it off. It's the making of flower beds in the house. <laughs> God, I never thought that is something I would hear myself say. But I'm genuinely excited at the thought of making some flower beds. <laughs> Actually, funnily enough, just last week I watched another YouTube channel, um, Isan Drew, he's got a good channel. And he's a young lad, he's much younger than I am. And actually I watched him get just as excited as I am about constructing his own flower beds in the back garden. And he has a he has a house in Isan as well. So anyway, look, it's not just me, you know, I, I'm 44 now. Obviously when you get into your older years, it becomes <laughs> more appealing. And I think I've stepped into that sort of gray area of where I'm in between, so, 
I'm kind of excited by it, but I'm not fully mentally embracing it yet because maybe I want to hold on to my younger days a bit. I don't know. I don't know. I found a use for this staircase. Found him. I split my shorts, trying to move this bloody bedroom furniture upstairs. Luckily, I'm wearing pants today. If you're from the UK, you'll know what this is, and my apologies if you're not from the UK. There's a, a radio station called Radio 1 in the UK and all the young people listen to it from when you're a young teenager up to, I guess, when you get into your early 30s and then you slowly start to listen to Radio 2 a little bit and you're in this sort of grey, murky zone for a few years where you kind of listen to Radio 2 but you don't want to admit it. You, you know, you want people to think that you're a fan of Radio 1 it's all like young and happening and cool and that but in actual fact you prefer radio too so i think i'm in the horticultural version of that did i say that right horticultural i don't know the fact that i can't say it right pleases me because it means i'm not fully at that age yet where that is in my vocabulary well just got back from a couple of days in chayapum Went to see a friend who's going through something rough at the moment, so had a couple of days away from the house and the farm. But back at it with a vengeance. All set. Okay, let's go. All this unpacking is hot and sweaty work, so I'm gonna jump in this pool. The unpacking can wait till tomorrow. What's nice about this pool is the water is getting pumped straight out of the ground directly right now because it's filling up. So it's not had a chance to warm up at all. It's so refreshing on a day like this. It's just what the doctor ordered. I need to buy a, a skimming net though because there was a few bugs in here this morning. And a couple of frogs. <laughs> That's okay, that's just normal, isn't it? Mummy, you gonna have a swim? Shall I teach you how to swim? Lovely little respite from all this unpacking. I think I'm gonna call it a day. Head home. I forgot to bring a spare pair of shorts, so I'm drying these in the sun. It's hot though, so 10 minutes I'll be dry. 